Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Need English channel. I believe all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, this particular session is for all those students who wrote the NEET examination like few weeks back in 2024, in this month itself, right? And since all of you, I'm pretty much sure you would have checked the official answer key, right? Even you got your OMR sheets as well, by means of which you exactly know how much marks you are scoring. Uh, as per the need 2024 is concerned. Now, after that, a lot of students have been continuously texting me, sir, I'm getting 610, 630, 640, 590. Uh, will I get the college, etc, etc. So in order to clarify those queries, this particular session I've kept over here. Well, over here in this particular session, I'll make you see exactly the numbers, right, of the need 2023. And we'll compare those numbers with the need 2024, by means of which you'll exactly get the in sight of, you'll exactly get the idea of what will be the expected cutoff of the NEET 2024 examination. So my dear students, without wasting a lot of a time, let's directly get into the business, right? This particular data which I've mentioned over here, this is your NEET 2023 data. And this particular data which I've mentioned over here, this is your NEET 2024 data. So let me write it over here. This one is 2023 data. And this one over here, this is 2024 data. So my dear students, last year, the student who got 671, he had a rank of 2567, right? The one who got 662, rank of 4175, 639, rank of 10499. Similarly, 618, rank of 19150. And all these students, even this particular student who got 618 last year, even he got the medical college, even he got the medical college, right? Now, the point is, what, uh, what is going to be the cutoff for this particular year? My dear students, if you compare this year's paper with the last year paper, right? The comparison is really easy. When it comes to the last year examination, in the last year, chemistry was slightly tricky. You know it, right? But this year, there was no subject which was tricky. The question paper was absolutely easy. The questions in physics, chemistry, as well as biology, they are considered to be in the category of easy to moderate, right? And mainly, I would say 90% of the paper was easy this year. So when it comes to the paper comparison, the level of the difficulty comparison, as per that particular factor, your cutoff has to increase, number one. Number two, if you see the last year, how many students appeared in the NEET examination? Last year, almost 21 lakh students appeared in the NEET examination. And this year, almost 24 lakh students wrote the NEET examination, right? So number of students appearing into the examination, they're also increasing. They have increased. Three lakh students have, three lakh more students have given the examination. I would say due to that, due to that, your cutoff actually should increase as well. So both the factors, both the factors, Number one, that is the difficulty level of the examination. Number two, number of students appearing into the examination. Both these factors are basically favoring the increase in cutoff. But, 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 but. Now you must be thinking, no doubt, cutoff is going to get increased. But how much exactly? My dear students, cutoff never increases more than 20 marks as compared to last year. This you can see the trend from NEET 2020 till 2021, till 2022, till 2023, even this year also. No doubt this year also cutoff is going to increase. But by how many marks? By maximum 10 to 20 marks. Maximum 10 to 20 marks, right? That is going to be the increase in cutoff. So for example, this year, the one who will be getting almost 628 marks, he or she will be approximately having the rank of 19150, right? The one who this year is going to get 643, he'll be up approximately having this particular rank. Similarly, I have mentioned all the expected ranks versus marks over here in this particular column. You can check it out. The one who is going to get 681, he is going to get the rank of almost 2500 this particular year, right? So, a lot of students are there who are expecting, who after seeing the OMR sheet, after seeing the answer key, they are expecting approximately 620 marks. What about them? What about them? Whether they are going to get any college? My dear students, this year, expected cutoff is going to be 630 marks, right? 630. At 630 marks, you'll have the rank of 20,000 approximately. If you are having 625 marks, you'll be having the rank of 25,000 approximately this year, right? So all those students who are scoring in the range of 615 to 620, right? What you should exactly do? My dear students, you should not avoid counseling. Do the counseling. 
right? I have already made a video on how to do the state-wise as well as the All India Quota Counseling, right? Please and please watch that video as well. Do not miss the counseling. There are a lot of states, there are a lot of states wherein cutoff gets decreased because of increase in the seats there or the number of candidates writing the examination in some states are low due to which the cutoff in some states that decreases basically. Even some students at 595 also get selected, right? So all those students who are in the range of 600 to 620, I would highly suggest you guys not to avoid the counseling. Please and please do the counseling, right? There are high chances you are going to get the college in your state, uh, either uh, due to state quota or, or all India quota, whatever, right? It depends on basically the number of seats which are there in a particular state, number one. Number two, uh, the number of students uh, who wrote the examination from a particular state. From some states, there are lesser number of students writing the examination due to which cutoff decreases basically. So all those students who got the score between 600 to 620, do not avoid the counseling, do the counseling on priority, right? And you should parallelly start studying as well for the NEET 2025 examination, right? See, you never know all those students who got less than 620, right? After seeing the answer key and the OMR sheets, etc, etc. You never know what's going to happen. There is a probability that you might get the college in your state, right? But at the same time, it's probability. It's not surety, right? So at the same time, I would suggest you guys to start studying again for the NEET 2025 examination because you are very close to the cutoff, right? You are very, very, very close to the cutoff. You cannot let it go at this particular point of time, right? One more year is needed. Either you take the partial drop or you take the one year complete drop, but next year is definitely going to be yours, right? So, all those students who could not do it in the 2024, how you should select a batch first of all, right? If you want to study again, how exactly you should select a batch. When you select the batch in offline or online, what all parameters you should keep into consideration with the help of which you are going to select the batch. My dear students, let me quickly tell you certain parameters which you have to keep into the mind while selecting the batch, be it offline batch for NEET 2025 or online batch for NEET 2025. The first and the most important point, join the batch wherein the syllabus gets completed maximum in six to seven months, right? You have to select that particular batch, right? Wherein the syllabus gets completed, the, the complete syllabus of physics, chemistry, biology, it should be getting completed in maximum six to seven months, right? Join the batch wherein after completing the syllabus, there will be dedicated almost two months for revision. Dedicatedly almost two months should be there for the revision. Okay. Join the batch wherein you get authentic DPPs and the authentic study material. So basically you should not be studying any books. Whatever material you should be getting from coaching, you have to follow that study material. But that study material has to be authentic, right? It has to be a proper study material. Perfect. Now, Join that particular batch wherein all the chapters, all the chapters, be it in physics, chemistry or biology, all the chapters should be started from the basics. Join the batch wherein you get one-on-one -on -one mentorship by the teachers who have produced the ranks, right? This is highly recommended for all of you. My dear students, this particular thing which most of the students, they miss out, chapter-wise mock tests, right? So basically, I'm telling you to complete your syllabus in six to seven months, which is only possible if you can complete three and a half chapters in a week. Once you complete your week one target of completing three and a half chapters in the batch, in the batch itself, after the completion of three, three and a half chapters in a week, the Sunday of that week, you should be writing the test of those chapters which you would have completed, right? Similarly, uh, there should be full syllabus mock tests available in the batch after the completion of the syllabus. So if these parameters are fulfilled in a batch, I would highly recommend you guys to join the batch. And as per these particular things which I've mentioned over here, we, the Unacademy NEET English team, we have just two days back, we have started the Phoenix 2.0 NEET English batch, wherein we people, me, HSP sir, Yavar sir, Ambika ma'am, we are going to train you personally in that particular NEET 2025 batch, which just started two days back, right? And all these parameters are included in that particular batch, my dear students, right? So class have started, it's been almost two days, the class have started. Perfect. I would highly recommend you guys to join that particular batch because all the parameters which are required for the competitive examination to be cracked with a good score, all those parameters are incorporated into that particular batch, right? That is definitely going to be the rank deciding batch for sure when it comes to the NEET 2025 examination, right? And how do we get enrolled into that particular batch? Let me quickly show that to you. My dear students, there's a link which is there in the description box of the video, one year subscription link. You just need to click on that link. Once you click on that link, right, 
over here you have got two options either to go for plus subscription or for the iconic subscription now what is the difference between the two in plus you get study material in the form of pdf in iconic you get study material in the form of hard copy in the form of booklets that is the only difference right here you have to click on 12 months click on proceed to pay once you click on proceed to pay you just have to put your number or you can continue with your email id and eventually you will be getting the one year subscription of an academy at the rate of only four triple nine and this offer is valid just for a few more days perfect i don't exactly know whether a few more days or a few more hours so right after this particular video do join this particular batch and the best part is after joining this batch you'll be having the access to all the batches of an academy absolutely free of cost so whatever need 2025 batches are running on an academy be it by english team or english team or hindi team right all those batch excesses you will be having automatically absolutely free of cost so join it very quickly right because this offer is i mean this price is going to hike up very 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 soon perfect so be the part of the batch let's dedicate one complete year to the need 2025 examination and let's make sure we all wear those white coats after writing the need 2025 examination with this i'm taking a leave god bless you all and love you all guys bye bye